On day one of my seven day quest with Windows 7, I introduced you to the new taskbar in Windows 7, but there's enough going on on the new taskbar that I thought we should re-explore it today. First off are these new icons that you can see a little bit larger. They look more like a desktop icon than a regular quick launch icon that we've been used to, and they are different. These are actually quick launch bars on steroids, I guess you could say. First off, if you hover on a particular icon that has an open window, you will see the thumbnail for that open window. Secondly, if you right click on an icon, if it's an editing type program, it'll show you the recently used documents that you've edited. And, and from this list, you can click and open the document directly from the taskbar. It's a, it's a different change for sure, and I kind of like it. The, if you right click, you get what's called their jump list, is what Microsoft is calling this, of your recently opened document. If you want to add an icon to the taskbar, just click the start button, find the program you want to add. Let's do calculator. You can right click it and say pin to the taskbar right here, pin to taskbar. And then you can see that it threw it up there on the taskbar. Or you can click and drag an icon from the start menu straight to the taskbar as well. And then you can launch directly from those icons. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but the Internet Explorer, the Firefox, and my Camtasia icons are all a little bit different, just a hair raised above the others. And that indicates that it's an open window. So if I launch Calculator, hopefully you saw how that icon changed a little bit and it's kind of raised. Now if I close Calculator, now it's back flat again. One other new item on the taskbar is if you hover on an icon, again, it gives you what's open in that particular program. If the program supports it, you can hover on a program and it'll show you all of the items that are open in that particular program. So I have three different tabs open Internet Explorer and it's showing all three tabs. Currently, Firefox doesn't support this because I do have three tabs open in Firefox, but it's not showing all three tabs on the taskbar. Now we're going to move over to the right-hand side of the taskbar, which was used to be known as the system tray. They've changed the name now to the notification area. It contains some of your same programs you're used to seeing, volume, this is my wireless meter, etc. But now you'll see a little flag. This, this flag is new to Windows 7. It is called the Action Center. The Action Center takes the place of Windows Security Center that we were familiar with in XP and Vista. And it will show you any alerts that need to happen regarding software, security, and hardware. Also new to the new notification area here on the right-hand side. To show your hidden icons, instead of click a horizontal button like we used to do to stretch out the system tray, you click the drop-down box and it shows you your other tray icons down here. If you click the customize button, it will bring up the notification area icon customization screen and you can scroll through here and choose, for example, like here's my open office. I can tell it show the icon and the notifications and you can see that it shows it in the tray. If I don't want to show it, I can say hide the icon. Now it's down in the drop down box or I can click only show notifications. Now it only show up if I need to address anything for that particular program. So that's new for the notification area icons. And lastly, but on the very right hand side next to your clock, there's a little bar here and that's the show the desktop bar. If I have any kind of windows open, no matter how many there are, and I hover on that bar, it'll show me the desktop. When I move my mouse away, it automatically brings back the windows back in their original position. If I click this little bar over on the right, then everything will stay minimized, even after I move my mouse away from the show the desktop. If I click it again, it brings the windows back up. So those are some new items on the Windows 7 taskbar. We'll be back with day number six in my week-long trek with Windows 7 tomorrow.